why America, NATO, needs this war happening with Russia and Ukraine. Now, it's no big secret that in America we've been printing so much money. There's no big secret that the world petrodollar is at jeopardy. There's no secret that the world reserve currency is in jeopardy. And in my opinion, I believe through my speculation that America needs this war because of all the craziness happening in our own economy. Okay, And at the same time, America wants the NATO countries to be more dependent on the petrodollar because the petrodollar is losing its grip, is losing its teeth because of all the monetary spending that's happening, all that that big brother is producing. So in my mind, from what I see is that America is trying to do whatever it can to push the petrodollar to a higher standard. And if Russia and Ukraine are at war, then you know the push to eliminate European countries to get natural resources from Russia decreases, and so they can get natural resources from OPEC, which therefore enhances the petrodollar. This is my personal opinion, why I believe the warmongers in America want this war to happen in Russia. Now, let's ask yourself one question. If Russia or China said they're going to come and open a base in Mexico or in Canada, would we be okay with that? Of course not. We wouldn't be okay with that. America wouldn't allow that. So why do we as Americans with NATO think it's okay to put nuclear missiles next to Russia's door, right? I mean, uh, Ukraine. Well, they're not okay with that either. So, you know, one, one of the best thing is to put ourselves in other people's situation. Now, I'm, this is not a political channel. I'm not a politician. You know, I don't, believe in war. I, I, I love peace. And I, and I believe that the Russian people are my brothers. I believe the Ukraine people are my brothers. I think the people in China are my brothers. I think that everyone on the planet is my brothers and sisters. I believe in peace. And there are incentives that corporations and the elites get for war. You know, the question is, why do they want war? Is it because we spend too much money? Is it because we printed too much money? Is it because we're losing the world reserve currency? Is it that we need the petrodollar to get stronger because so many countries are going away from the petrol because of all the expenditure? Those all could be possibilities why America slash NATO is knocking on Russia's door and forcing them to attack. Now, I don't like the Russian government, nor do I like any government from any country because all they do is a war, war, war. I'm for peace. I'm for the people. I'm for free trade. And that's why I like Bitcoin, because Bitcoin promotes peace and prosperity versus sanctions, terrorists, bullets and bombs. I know that doesn't sound really good to say that as American, but I believe that in my heart that Big Brother, people in the deep state, they want this war. They want a war with Iran. They want a war with China. They want a war with Russia. I mean, we already have bases all over the world. And, you know, think about it. When America attacked Iraq, Russia didn't come and fight us. When America attacked Afghanistan, Russia didn't come and fight us. So we are the, the country that's really invading all these other countries, right? Uh, and we say that they have, you know, nuclear, or they have mass destruction weapons, and they, they are never, ever coming to truth. So the point of the story is that America is the police, the world police. We're bullying everyone. We're telling them what to do. And we have double standards. Like, let me say that again. We have double standards. It's kind of like having two gangs. One gang says, look, I can use knives and guns, but tells the other gang that, hey, when we fight, you can't use knives and guns. You just got to use your bare hands. While my gang can use knives and guns. Of course, this is going to be unfair. Now, I don't like no gangs, right? I, I love peace. But can you can you imagine where one thug is telling the other thugs, don't use these weapons when we fight while we have these weapons? Of course, it doesn't sound fair. Of course, it doesn't sound fair. And NATO being at the back door of Russia by putting their nuclear, or they wanted to put their nuclear bombs there, you know, Russia is as a superpower and needs a buffering space, just like any any of us, you know, we would all be upset if our neighbor said, look, I'm going to tear down your door so you can't, you know, block me from raiding your home. We would all be upset. We'll be at arms. So that said, 
I think that there's, there's a hidden agenda that America needs this war. NATO needs that war. Because if you look at France, there was the yellow vest jacket. You look, you look at Canada, there's people, you know, protesting. If you look at all these countries that are in NATO, they're, they have heavy inflation. Most of these countries don't produce stuff. They get their stuff from other countries. And, you know, they hardly have any resources. They're printing out this fake money and getting the real resources from other countries. So we're in a very, very dangerous situation for a lot of the NATO countries and in America because we have hyperinflation. We have high price of gas. We have massive amount of debt. We're printing money left and right, which means the Royal Reserve currency is losing its grip, losing its power. We're sanctioning countries. We're tariffing countries. We're sanctioning people in our own country. I mean, look at what Canada is doing to their own citizens. They're freezing their accounts. They're having the, the no thinking policy that if anyone thinks against the government, that they want you to rat them out. That's crazy, right? Uh, and it sounds like the Nazi Germany story, right? Um, that if you didn't have the same thoughts at the Nazi Germany, then you're going to camps, that you're going to get your life ruined. And the same thing is happening in the free country. What's crazy is the free countries are becoming the new dictatorship, ladies and gentlemen. In the new countries, in the free countries, have become the new dictatorship. I'm telling you, like, look at Australia. Look what's going on in Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, look what's going on in America. They're, they're telling you, you got to shove this thing up your butt. You got to shove this in your hand. You got to take this vax. You got to do this. You got to do this. You got to stay home. We're going to close down your businesses. And I mean, just ridiculous. You know, I thought we have a free country. You know, they're deep flat informed. A lot of people for having different viewpoints. And so, I'm I'm in a camp that. I respect everyone. I respect everyone's view, even if it's totally different than mine. And I think it's totally okay. I even will stand up for another person's viewpoint, even if it's against mine, because I believe that they should have the right to express the way they feel. This is what a true democracy is. This is what true freedom is, that you are able to entertain the opposite viewpoint and not get hostile. Not get hostile like Canada and say they're going to. If you don't have the same point of view with us, then we're going to freeze your account. We're going to take you to jail. This is what dictators do. I know I came from a dictatorship in Iran. The Khomeini was doing that to the Iranian people, right? So I know what exactly a dictatorship looks like. And we're seeing us, the free country, heading that way. We're seeing Australia heading that way. We see Canada heading that way. And this is all because of too much debt. This is all because these nations don't produce crap. They produce very, very little. And they get most of their stuff from the external, which is China. And by sanctioning sanction China, by tariffing these countries that give us their stuff, then the price of goods are just going to skyrocket. And we in America are going to pay the most heaviest price because we hardly produce anything in America. Most of the stuff is coming from other countries. And when we have a war, when all the stuff will not be able to fly into our country for us to assemble it, if we do that, if one of our manufacturers assemble stuff, they don't even have parts. They, they're bringing it from other countries. Then we're going to see how in trouble we are. We're going to see how in trouble we are. Okay. Anyways, guys, uh, this is not a political channel. This is an economic channel. And I think that this side effect is going to affect your pockets from $9 gas prices per gallon gas prices, like I predicted in 2016, to gold shooting up, like I predicted in 2017. Uh, and it's going to be hard times coming, ladies and gentlemen, hard times coming. There's going to be food shortages, going to be hyperinflation. There's going to be tough times coming. And all these people who are in debt are going to pay the maximum price. Anyways, guys, always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined, Romy.